Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. So, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're well. So today I'm going to bring to you this gorgeous project that's very quick and very easy and it's absolutely stunning for this spring, summer season. So it's a headband, a crochet headband and I've just made a pink one and I've just also um, almost finished my white one and this is the one I'm going to show you. Well, they're identical, um, but I'm, I just left this one undone just so that I'll show you afterwards how to sew it together because we're sewing it to an elastic just to give it that extra little um, detail. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's really, I love the bohemian romantic vibes. Yes, so I hope you like it. So to make this um, headband I used, for the pink one, I used cotton so they're both 100% um, cotton balls of yarn so one and it's in DK weight so that's a size 3 lightweight yarn in American terms and it's a DK weight yarn in English terms so this one this gorgeous satiny pink one is by Wendy so it's a supreme cotton DK yarn I'll link everything in the description box you can also download the free pattern from my blog, selinaveronique.com. Everything is linked in the description box, so don't forget to look at that. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe because it means the world to me and it does help grow our crochet family and love. So yes, so the pink one is the Wendy Cotton Supreme DK. And the white yarn, this one, is also a um, the same weight yarn and it's a Sirdar cotton DK. You can't really, I'll try and, yeah. So it's a Sirdar cotton DK. Everything will be linked down below and yeah, I love working with these cotton yarns. It gives such a gorgeous bohemian, um, really like lovely vibes I love it and they're such good quality so I definitely recommend either one of these but you can use any cotton yarn that you have I used a four millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors I've still not located mine so I'm using my baby clippers and um, a tapestry needle you will also be needing a simple elastic so I've already knotted mine for my project this one I've got this one and I'll show you how to knot it later on in the video it's really easy it's the same principle and basically I just buy these I think from Primark or just Boots or any like drugstore you know, it's those ones that you can buy and you've got 20 or 30 elastics in. So the very basic elastics that you can find. So I will be speaking in US terms. So for this video, I'm just going to make a small sample. However, you will be making a longer version. So you will be chaining more than me. So to begin, just make a slip knot. So I'm just going to make my slip knot like so. I'm just going to pop my hook through and tighten. And now you are going to be chaining 70 chains and I'll be chaining less. So just go ahead and chain 70. So one, two, three. So I've chained a much smaller sample, but you should have chained 70 for my pattern. Just so you know, um, this pattern needs to be a multiple of two. So if you want to make it smaller, say for a child, or if you want to make it larger, just because you may have like a larger head, just know that it's a multiple of two. So now that I've chained my sample and you've chained 70, we are going to be doing a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So just count one, 
two and three and go into that third chain. Wrap your yarn around your hook and pop your hook inside um, this chain. Take your yarn, pull it through. You've got three loops on your hook. Take your yarn and pull through three loops. And this is how we make a half double crochet. And you, the first two chains right here counts as a half double crochet already. So what we're going to do now is place another half double crochet into the next stitch. So just do the same and pull through three loops and into the next chain. And this is what you're going to do until the end of this row. Just pop your hook through and place a half double crochet until the end of the row. And then I'll show you how to do row two. Okay, so I've just finished row one. So I've placed a half double crochet into every stitch and then into that last one right here. So what we're going to do now for the second um, row, so there's only three rows in this pattern and this is gonna be the um, filet crochet row, the next row. So basically what you are going to be doing is chaining three, so one, two and three, turn your work and this actually counts as a half double crochet and chain and what we're going to do and it's it counts as um, this stitch, so the first stitch, so the second stitch right here is actually the second stitch and we're gonna skip that because we've got a chain space right here. So we're just gonna skip this stitch and go into the third um, half double crochet from the previous row and place a half double crochet into that. So just go ahead and place a half double crochet into that. And basically this is what we have. So this creates that space. What we're going to do now is chain one and skip this um, stitch and go into the next stitch and place a half double crochet into that one. And then what we're going to do is chain one, skip that stitch and go into the next stitch. There we go. And chain one, skip a stitch Go into the next one and what we're going to do is chain one, skip a stitch and now we're at the end. Well, your, um, your row will be a lot longer than mine, obviously, because you've chained more, but this is just the principle I'm showing. So we've chained one, we're going to skip one stitch <clears throat> and we're just going to place our half double crochet into the chain two from the previous row right here. So just go ahead and find that chain two and pop your sing, uh, stitch into that, which is a half double crochet. And this is how it should look for now. And this is your second row. And I'm just gonna show you how to do row three. And then that will be um, the whole pattern. So for row three, you are going to chain two, one and two, turn your work, and this counts as your first half double crochet with this first stitch. And then the second stitch is the space that we created in the last row. So we're just gonna go directly into that with our half double crochet. So just pop your half double crochet into that space directly, oops. So just pop your half double crochet into that space directly. And now we are going to go into the next stitch, which is a half double crochet from the previous row. And we're just gonna place our um, half double crochet into that. So just go ahead and go into that and place a half double crochet. And now we are going to be placing a half double crochet in the space. 
like so and now this is the half double crochet from the previous row so just go ahead and place your half double crochet into that and then in the next um, space just go ahead and place a half double crochet into that and I'll just let you carry on until the end of the row so there we go so I've just placed a half double crochet into the half double crochet from the previous row right here and now I've got two stitches left indeed I've got a space left and a chain two left from the previous row so we are going to be placing a half double crochet into both so just go ahead and place a half double crochet into that space and then just go ahead and place a half double crochet into the chain two from the previous row and there you go you have your um your pattern so you should have a much longer um a much longer project and i'll just show you how to sew it together so yes also leave and uh, make sure you leave a long tail for sewing it's just easier so i've just left this long tail for sewing and this is my project and i'm just gonna um tease you a teeny bit and i'll just show you how i so i've already done a knot with my um elastic that i'm gonna use so I'm just going to show you, so what I've done, I'm just taking another elastic and what you're going to do is just squeeze it and then just tie a knot as best you can. So I'm kind of pulling it and then um, tying a knot like this. There we go. And then gently just pull on it until you have like um, an equal kind of infinity sign type of um elastic and there you go you have an elastic to sew onto your project so i'm just going to use this elastic to sew onto my um project so to begin you are just going to be popping your um yarn through your um needle and then you're just going to place your elastic in a way that enables you to just surround it with your stitching if that makes any sense so I'm just gonna stitch it very very basically to my project so just go ahead and place your stitches as best you can I mean it's really not complicated sewing that we're doing here so just go ahead and as best you can just sew on your elastic so we are going to want to have um, the elastic sewn on the entire width of the project so just bear that in mind to sew on um, your elastic so that the whole width of your project is sewed onto it just because it will look a lot neater so I've just sewed on one side like I showed you and this is what it looks like. So what we're going to do is sew on the other side, making sure that we um, also sew on the reverse. Make sure that you fold your, um, your project just so that it doesn't twist. Obviously that makes just makes sense. Flip it inside out and start sewing this part like we did the other. So because there's no strand attached to this yarn, we are just gonna be attaching the yarn. So I'm just gonna snip off a piece of yarn from my um, skein, pop it through my needle, like so. So just pop it through your needle and attach it to a corner of your yarn. Make a knot and bear in mind you will be sewing in these loose ends so I always kind of leave a longer loose end just because it's easier to sew in later on. And now you are just going to do the exact same thing 
that I've just showed you except on the other side. So just pop your needle through um, the elastic and make sure you sew it um, so that it's um, the entire, to sew it onto the entire width of your project. And there you go, then you'll just snip off your yarn and tidy up all loose ends and you'll be good to go and you will have an absolutely stunning bohemian headband. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for everything and all your comments. And I'll see you next week for a new crochet video. Mm -hmm.